Hey guys, it's TMF Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week, we got a very informative video. You might need your notepad and pencil for today because it's going to be a lot of technical stuff, and I'm going to be going over how to match your tie to your shirt. There's a lot of little moving parts, so I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible, but also try to make it as basic as I can make it. Very simplified, and I'm going to be showing you some outfit combinations on how to properly match your tie and your shirt. Now, this is one of the biggest reasons why you almost always will see me wearing either a white or a light blue shirt. I like it to be simple and a white shirt is basically like a blank canvas. You can literally add any tie combination you can think of and it's always undoubtedly going to look good. However, not every guy's like me. Some guys like pattern shirts and they want to match more colorful shirts and that is okay, you just need to know how to do it so you don't end up clashing and looking like a clown. So to make matters a little bit more fun, we're going to be using these really cool ties by Benjamin Bale. We also want to thank really quickly to start off Benjamin Bale for sponsoring this video and making it possible for you guys. Benjamin Bale is an accessory company. However, they just recently released their vintage tie collection, which is pretty awesome. They're revitalizing vintage ties. Most of these are actually really cool brands like Barney's, you get Yves Saint Laurent, Giorgio Armani, and they're making it modern and usable for us. And the cool thing is that you're getting a lot of these vintage styles that you can bring today that sometimes you can't find in modern ties. So to make it more interesting, we're going to be combining some of these ties. And as you can see, it's not your average colors and patterns, but I'm going to show you that you can effectively use them. So there's going to be two aspects that you need to understand to effectively do this. You're going to need to understand patterns and how to combine them, and you're going to need to understand colors and how to combine them. So first, let's start with the easiest combination, and that is a solid shirt pattern tie. This is the easiest and most surefire way to look good. If you have a pattern tie that you really want to use and you're unsure on how to combine it, always go with the solid shirt. It's the easiest way to do it, and it's almost always going to look good, whether it's a dense or loose pattern, whether it's a big or small pattern. Of course, given that both the shirt and the tie complement colors. We're going to be discussing color schemes and how they complement a little bit later on in this video. Next, we're going to be moving to the most difficult one of all. And once you master this, you're pretty much set on combining. And it's a pattern shirt with a pattern tie. So the first thing is that you're going to want to vary your patterns. The last thing you want to do is to wear two patterns of equal size because this is going to clash very badly and it's not going to look appropriate. So you want two patterns that vary in size. You want a big and a small or a denser pattern than another. A safe rule of thumb is to have a smaller pattern on your shirt and a thicker, more dense or bigger pattern on your tie. This usually always ends up looking proper. But again, it all depends if the colors complement each other. Now for color combination, the color wheel is your best friend. Anytime you're wondering if two colors go, always pull out a color wheel and look at it. And there's basically four rules you're going to want to follow that are involved in color theory. These are pretty basic rules and I'm going to have a color wheel on the screen so you guys can see it as I'm describing some of these theories. So the first rule is to understand your primary or know your primary colors. Your primary colors are your red, blue and yellow. From these colors, all other colors derive from. Which means also that these colors tend to look good together. However, as a rule of thumb, just because these colors look together doesn't mean you should make your whole outfit comprised of a bunch of these colors. It's always good to control the amount of color in your outfit. The more color you put in your outfit, the more chances you have of looking like a clown. The second tip is that analogous colors are always a safe bet. These colors are the ones that are adjacent to each other on the color wheel. As you can see, whatever color is next to the color you're looking at are adjacent colors and colors that will look proper in an outfit. The next tip is to pursue complementary colors. And this is, what, this is what I was speaking a little bit earlier in this video. Complementary colors are colors that are exactly opposite of each other on the color wheel. These colors always, again, tend to look very well paired together. A very popular example is black and white. The reason why these colors look so well together is because they're direct opposites of each other on the color wheel, which means they complement each other. All right, so finally, the easiest way to match colors is to go through a monochromatic scheme. Monochromatic scheme is to choose a color from the color wheel and then just apply different shades of it within the same color. This is a great way to combine your outfit and to control the amount of color like I was speaking about in the first tip. You want to control how much color you have because like I said it ends up being too much or too loud. However, if you choose one color and choose different shades of that color, it's a very elegant way to pair outfits and also a surefire way. Now here are two pro tips that I'm going to share with you guys or bonus tips. 
The first tip is to just understand how these can actually affect your appearance. Cool colors, in case you didn't know, can actually slim down your profile and make you look a little bit slimmer. On the other end, warm colors can actually broaden your appearance. And then finally, the second pro tip I'm gonna share with you guys is to learn how to balance your outfit. And the way you do this is by using neutrals. Like I mentioned in tip one, even though red, blue, and yellow will look appropriate paired together, too much of it in one outfit might be too dangerous and too loud. One thing you have to do is when you're starting to wear too much color is to balance out your outfit. And you do this with neutral colors. Neutral colors are like white, gray, and brown as a couple examples. And these help you balance out an outfit and makes it a little bit more palpable. All right, guys, so that's basically it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful. Also, if you like the ties you saw in this video, like I mentioned, these are vintage ties that have been revitalized by Benjamin Bale. I'll have the link below so you guys can check them out. They have a pretty cool selection. It's not just ties, they have a, a bunch of accessories, but the ties is what caught my attention given that they're vintage ties, but they're usually really good quality like Barney's, Armani, or Yves Saint Laurent. So if you wanna check out their collection, I'll have them linked below so you guys can see them. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, remember to hit up the like button. Also remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. Thank you guys for watching.